Hi, I'm Michael Correa and this is Psych Exam Review. This is a practice question video where we're going to look at 10 practice multiple choice questions related to learning theory and behaviorism. Before we get to the questions, a few reminders. The first is always try to come up with your own answer first. So I'll pause after I read the question, but before I show the multiple choice options. And you might want to pause the video if you need a little more time to think. And then you should look to the multiple choice answers. Hopefully you have some ideas already about what you're looking for or what you can eliminate right away. And don't forget to also review any other unfamiliar terms that might appear. So I've written the questions, the answer choices, and the explanations to try to include as many terms as possible. So you can get a review of the entire unit in only 10 questions. Okay, so let's look to these multiple choice questions for learning theory and behaviorism. Using treat rewards, Leon taught his dog to lie down when he claps his hands. Now Leon's dog also lies down when he hears a car door close. This is an example of, is this vicarious reinforcement, stimulus generalization, second order conditioning, superstitious behavior, or stimulus discrimination. And this would be B, stimulus generalization. So Leon's dog is generalizing by responding to the stimulus of the car door closing as if it were the sound of hands clapping. During a trivia game, Julie was surprised she remembered all the words to a popular commercial jingle, even though she had never made an effort to remember it. This is an example of Is this abstract learning, latent learning, biological preparedness, shaping, or the premac principle? And this would be B, latent learning. So latent learning occurs without any reinforcement, but it isn't demonstrated until there's a reason to demonstrate it. So Julie would have learned these words without being rewarded in the past but she wouldn't have any reason to show that she knew them until this situation came where now she can show that learning. Near each shift's end, the boss walks by the work area and praises those who look productive. At first, staff increased their rate of work when they saw him, but now they increase their rate of work as the end of shift nears, even if he hasn't appeared yet. The workers have adapted to a blank schedule of reinforcement. Is this a fixed interval schedule, a variable interval schedule, a fixed ratio schedule, a variable ratio schedule, or a continuous schedule? And this would be A, a fixed interval schedule of reinforcement. In a fixed interval schedule, a reward is only available after a certain amount of time has passed. And as the time approaches, the frequency of behavior tends to increase to make sure that you get the reward when it's available. Alyssa conditioned her sister to squirm at the sound of the word pancake by repeatedly tickling her after saying it. Pancake is now a... Is it an unconditioned stimulus? An unconditioned response? a neutral stimulus, a conditioned stimulus, or a conditioned response. So this would be D, conditioned stimulus. While it previously would have been neutral, by pairing pancake with tickling, Alyssa caused her sister to acquire an association between the word and being tickled. So now she squirms when she hears the word because she expects to be tickled. This suggests that a stimulus must be salient and reliable in order for an association to be learned. Insight learning, the law of effect, the rescorla wagner model, the PREMAC principle, or biological preparedness. And this would be C, the rescorla wagner model. This model, also known as the contingency model of classical conditioning, 
helps explain why some associations are learned more readily than others. The organism must notice the stimulus, so it should be salient, and it also needs to be a reliable predictor of a certain outcome, such as receiving food. Timmy received a candy after raising his hand and answering a question. On subsequent questions, many other students quickly raised their hands, showing Are they showing higher order conditioning, chaining, shaping, negative reinforcement, or vicarious reinforcement? And this would be E, vicarious reinforcement. So even though the other students haven't been rewarded themselves yet, seeing Timmy rewarded has influenced their behavior. So they've learned that Raising their hand might lead to a reward, and they've learned this by seeing somebody else get rewarded, which is what makes it vicarious reinforcement. Trainers attempted to teach a chicken to turn on a jukebox by pecking and then dance, but instead it would only engage in repeated scratching and pecking behaviors, demonstrating insight learning, spontaneous recovery, aversive conditioning, instinctive drift, or the law of effect. And this would be D, instinctive drift. So instinctive drift occurs when a behavior being conditioned is too similar to an instinctual behavior, causing the instinct to take over. In this case, the desired behavior is too similar to the chicken's natural foraging behavior which takes over and prevents conditioning. Pulling on a strap reduces the annoying noise Sarah's backpack makes when she walks. As a result, she frequently pulls and readjusts this strap. Her behavior has been influenced by is this positive reinforcement, positive punishment, extinction, negative punishment, or negative reinforcement. And this would be an example of E, negative reinforcement. So in negative reinforcement, a behavior is increased because doing it decreases an unpleasant or an aversive stimulus. For Sarah, fiddling with the strap is reinforced because it removes the annoying noise that her backpack makes, encouraging her to repeat this pulling behavior. His research on latent learning and cognitive maps revealed some limitations of simple stimulus response behaviorist models. Was this Edward Tolman, John B. Watson, B.F. Skinner, Ivan Pavlov, or Edward Thorndike? And this would be A, Edward Tolman. Though Tolman's research followed behaviorist designs, the results revealed the need for explanations which included cognitive components. After watching many Marvel movies, Terrell now lands in a superhero pose each time he jumps off the monkey bars at the playground, demonstrating Is this an unconditioned response? Observational learning? primary reinforcement, instrumental learning, or biological preparedness. And this would be B, observational learning. So Terrell has learned this behavior simply by seeing others perform it. And seeing these heroes who are high status and attractive model this behavior has also likely played a role in his motivation to reproduce it. Okay, so that's the end of these 10 questions on learning theory and behaviorism. I hope that you did well, but I also hope that you found them fairly challenging. And make sure that you review anything that was difficult or unfamiliar, including the other answer choices or any terms I used in the explanations. And if you still have questions, don't forget there's hundreds of psychology tutorials on my channel, so check those out. You might be able to find some additional help for anything that was unclear. 
And if you have any questions or suggestions for future review videos, please share them in the comments. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.